Good morning, friends. I'm here at CVS getting ready to do my weekly couponing. And of course, I'm gonna take you along with me to see what I pick up. Today, instead of the usual 10 kicks I get for opening up my ShopKick app at the front of the store, I got 100. That was a nice surprise. My red box machine didn't print out very many CRTs. It printed out some and then it started printing out just one at a time. So I'll have to send some to my card today. The first promotion that I'm gonna do today is on the CoverGirl. It's been 15, get a $7 extra care buck. I'm gonna pick up the eyeliner. It's priced at $6.99 and we have a $3 off CoverGirl Eye digital coupon in the CVS app. I also have CoverGirl paper coupons, but the value is lower than the digital coupons, so I won't be using those today. A couple of weeks ago, I opened up a package of CoverGirl brow pencils and I noticed that the color of the pencils was different than the color on the packaging. So I wrote to CoverGirl and let them know about this error and they sent me this coupon for $9 off a CoverGirl product. That mistake really worked in my favor because those brow pencils are only $5.49 in my store. These two products total $15.98. The CoverGirl coupon for $9 will lower itself down to $8.99. And after my $3 digital coupon comes off, I'll pay $3.99, but get back a $7 extra care buck, making this a $3.01 moneymaker. I have this 3 off 15 cosmetic CRT. I'm going to use it with this CoverGirl deal. So now I'll be paying just 99 cents and getting back a $7 extra care buck, making this a $6.01 moneymaker. The next deal that I'm gonna do is on the Revlon Cosmetics. It is spend $12, get a $4 extra care buck, and it has a limit of six. So I'm gonna do this deal twice. I have this instant coupon from last week for $4 and this five off 20 CRT. We also just got Revlon coupons in the Sunday paper and new digital coupons on the app. I'm gonna pick up this Revlon powder priced at $12.49 and use this $4 off Revlon face digital coupon. The next thing I'm gonna pick up is this Revlon eyeshadow palette priced at $11.79 and use this $3 off Revlon Eye Cosmetics digital coupon. I changed my mind and I'm actually gonna do this deal three times and spend $36 because I have this five off 15 cover girl CRT. I'm gonna switch out the eyeshadow that I picked for this one priced at $10.99. And the $3 off digital coupon for Revlon Eye Cosmetics will come off of this. I like this metallic color palette. It's something different. To complete this deal, I'm gonna add in a lipstick. I've had my eye on this Revlon Coverstay lipstick. It's priced at $12.49. I'm gonna use a $2 off digital coupon in the CVS app. These products total me $35.97. But because my store follows the 98% rule, I'll be getting back a $12 extra care buck for hitting this deal three times. As long as you're within 98% of a spend requirement, the extra buck will print out and most stores are programmed to do this. The only way to know if your store follows the 98% rule is by testing it. I know that I can use these two threshold CRTs because 20 plus 15 is 35 and I am spending over $35 in Revlon Cosmetics. I'm spending $35.97, but after all CRTs and coupons, my total will be $12.97. I'll get back a $12 extra care buck, and because I've spent over $30 in beauty, I'll also be getting back a $3 beauty buck within 48 hours. Next, I'm gonna pick up some Maybelline. It's on promotion for buy any two, get a $5 extra care buck. Two of them will total me $9.38, but this week, CVS sent me a text coupon for one free beauty item up to $5. So one of these baby lips will be free and I'll pay just $4.69 and get back a $5 extra care buck, making it a 31 cent moneymaker. This week, Whole Blends is two for $7 and when you buy two, you'll get a $4 extra care buck. I have this $4 off two paper coupon, so I'll pay $3 but get back a $4 extra care buck, making this a dollar moneymaker. This coupon expires today on the 28th, but some CVS stores will take a coupon a couple days after the expiration date. Next, I'm gonna do the P&G deal. This week, it's spend 20, get a $5 extra care buck. I'm gonna grab these bounty paper towels priced at 10.49. I have this $2 off CRT and a 25 cent paper coupon. I wanted to add the downy scent beads to this deal because I have a CRT and coupon for it, but unfortunately my store is out. So I'm gonna grab these bounce dryer sheets. They're priced at $4.94 and I have this $1.50 off paper coupon. 
I'm still short of the $20 spend, so I'm going to add some gain flings to this transaction. They're priced at $4.94 as well, and I have this dollar off paper coupon. With the gain flings, these three products will total me $20.37. So I've decided that I do not want the bounce dryer sheets. I think that I would rather grab a package of Tide instead. With the Tide, my total will still be $20.37. I have this $2 off paper coupon for the Tide. After my other paper coupons and CRT, I'll pay $15.12, but get back a $5 extra care buck. So my cost will be $10.12, which is kind of high, but I have some money makers from cosmetics that will help cover the cost. The last deal that I'm going to do is this feminine care deal where you spend $12 and get a $3 extra care buck back. Guys, I did not realize until just now as I am editing this video that I completely messed this deal up. Fortunately, my cashier printed out the $3 extra buck for me anyway. These CRTs that I'm showing you and the digital coupons, they all came off. So my cost was a little bit over a dollar for all of these products. But what I did wrong was I grabbed a product that was not a part of this promotion. The always is a part of a separate promotion. It worked out for me because my cashier force printed the extra buck. But if you want to do this deal, do not include the always. It's actually a part of the P&G Spend 20 deal. This is everything that I'm picking up today. I'm very excited about all of my money maker cosmetic deals. I'm going to put the Maybelline in a separate transaction because I don't want that free cosmetic CRT to attach to the wrong thing and kick out one of my digital coupons. I don't have any $4 extra care bucks, so I'll have to use this $3 one and pay $1.69 out of pocket. Well guys, I'm back and this is what I picked up today. Everything did not go smoothly. I had that $9 off coupon that I told you guys about that I got because I bought those brow pencils and the shade on the outside was not the same as the shade on the inside. Well, it didn't scan, unfortunately, and I was kind of afraid that would happen. So what she did was she price modified the lipstick down to free. And it was $8.99, so it was, yeah, it was going to be free. So then when she did that, the 3 off 15 cosmetic CRT did not come off. So what she did was she price modified the CoverGirl brow pencil. That was fine, except for this doesn't track towards beauty because it was modified to free, and the $3 off this didn't track because it was price modified. So I missed hitting beauty twice. I was expecting to hit it twice, but I will only be hitting it one time. I'm going to miss it by $2.48. So that's a little disappointing, but it'll just be very easy for me to hit beauty next week. The other unfortunate thing is that my Tide coupon did not come off. I knew that my total was wrong. I didn't know why. I went in my car and I looked at my receipt and figured out that my Tide coupon did not come off. So I went inside and I asked for it back and she gave it back to me. But I should have, I think I should have, returned the Tide and then rang it up again. But I just wasn't thinking about that. So my cost today is higher than what I would like for it to be. So I'll go ahead and show you my receipt. There's the whole blends, the gain, the tide, bounty, the always, and two of the carefrees. And then there's the cover girl, the one she price modified down to $3.99, and then the one she price modified to free. And there's the Revlon. And this was the whole blends coupon. This is the gain coupon, the bounty coupon, and then my Revlon digital coupons for face and eye. And then there's the carefree digital, the Revlon lip digital, the always digital and the camera girl digital. And then my Revlon CRTs came off. And then the three off three feminine care CRT came off, the $2 bounty CRT, and then the carefree CRTs came off. They reduced down because I guess there just wasn't enough there after the coupon. Yeah, because the coupon would have taken $1.50 off each, and this one was already 50% off. And then I used $36 in extra care bucks. I paid $2.70 out of pocket um, because these reduced down 
And also because my Tide coupon came off, I pay the subtotal. I was expecting to not have a subtotal actually. So that was kind of disappointing. Got back $12 for the Revlon, $4 for the whole blends, $5 for the Spend 20 deal, and then a ton of my CRTs because they did not print off at the red box. It was just printing off like one at a time, strangely enough. So the cover girl didn't print out because it was a spend 15 deal and because she price modified, it didn't print out. So she printed out the $7 extra care buck for me. And then the carefree always deal, the, the extra care buck didn't print out. So she printed this out for me. And what I'm thinking is that the, the always that I picked up must not have been a part of the promotion. And then I did the baby lips separate because I wanted to make sure that my free item attached to the baby lips. Um, so I used a $3 extra care buck because I didn't have a $4 one and paid $1.69 subtotal. And I got back my $5 extra care buck for that transaction. All in all, this was $103.67 worth of products. I spent $39 in extra care bucks and $4.39 in subtotals, and I got back $36 in extra care bucks. I'll be getting back $3 in a beauty buck within 48 hours. So I'm getting back $39, making my cost $4.39. Now, if my Thai coupon had come off and if she hadn't price modified these, which I understand why she did that and because the coupon wasn't scanning. But if she didn't have to price modify the cover girl, I would have hit beauty again. So this would have all been a 61 cent money maker instead of a cost of $4.39. So I'm a little disappointed in that. And I'm kind of thinking that I need to break my transactions up into smaller ones <laughs> just to make sure it goes better. I usually always do one transaction at CVS unless there's a reason to do another transaction like with the baby lips but I might start doing smaller transactions there just to make sure that everything is coming off correctly if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and as always thank you for watching check out my Instagram and TikTok they are both at Amy Way to Save.